start of our walk from home. It's the edge of the village over there. No wind for the turbine today. These bottles have been stuck in the roots of the tree and the ivy has grown around them so they're stuck in there fast. Been like that for years. So, so peaceful. Very placid sheep this morning. Enjoying your breakfast. Dogs are being good. Girl pigs. That's pretty amazing. That tree has fallen over. And it sent it up. It sent up all those new shoots to survive. This is one of the earthworks at Hillsfield. Not sure what it was originally. Interesting style. We're now in Hillsfield. Very noisy sheep and a noisy husband. We're now approaching Hewellsfield Church, which is very interesting. It's got a circular, um, 
it's in a circular, oh, what do you call it? Circular enclosure, which uh, suggests that the church was built on a, originally a pagan site. And up there is another earthwork, which they think could possibly be a, a Mott and Bailey type castle. ancient yew tree church is actually open. Amazing. I haven't been in here since uh, since the last funeral I went to, I think. We've just had a wander around the churchyard and it was incredible how many people buried there I actually knew. That's rather nice that they've got a, a free food for anybody who needs it. Do you want to explain what this is? I believe this is the head of a lift pump, which is a, a method of getting water up hills. Um, explain better on uh, on YouTube. Look it up on Google. This path was originally the main route between uh, St Breville's and Hewelsfield before we had a, a tarmac road. This tree down has been a bit of a disaster. Rotted on the inside. Now we've got incredible views across to the other side of the River Severn. Yeah. The windmill from another angle. <laughs> yeah, fall over. That looks a bit staged. Yeah. Make a better job of it than that. <laughs> nice old stone style. Bit of drama. 
These are some incredibly ancient holly trees. Lovely stone slabs. <laughs> We're nearly back in the village. It's about 10 minutes to walk back now after a lovely four hour walk. It only took four hours because we keep stopping to take photographs and look at things and it's probably only about two hours really. <laughs> anyway, that was our Sunday morning walk. It's the start of the village over there. without even having to get into a car to go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> 